Oh boy. What's going on? It's Cash from Crash Pet Gaming. And. I don't know about this one, guys. We're going to play the Resident Evil 3 remake demo. As you can see, big ass nemesis right here already on the screen. Uh, I had another demo planned to come to the channel, just Trials of Mana, but uh, damn, that demo's long. So I kind of just scrapped that. Real quick, I actually don't have a lot of experience with Resident Evil games. I've only played 4 and 5 and a little bit of 6. 4 was my favorite. It's amazing. 5 was okay. But uh, I did play the Resident Evil 2 Remake demo. I have not played Resident Evil 2 Remake. But if you like this, you'll be happy to know that when Season 1 of Vampire ends, I think we're going to pick up Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. I haven't played that. I don't even know what the game's about. I only know that they changed to the first person perspective and I don't know what's going on in the game because usually when I want to play a game I tend to avoid spoilers on it. So here we go. First things first. We're gonna turn this stuff down so we don't blow our eardrums out and then we're gonna go. Let's do it. The final game may differ from this demo. You cannot save or load your game in this demo. Oh shit, so that means if we die, we die. This new plague is spreading at a terrifying rate, embedding itself in the corpse of already shambling the streets. Jo has encountered immense difficulties in her attempt to escape the city, but in her most desperate moment, she was rescued by an unknown man named Carlos. Here we are, Jill Valentine. I don't, I know Jill from like, Res I know she was in Resident Evil 1 and 5. She is an elite operative of RPD Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Stars. Her name is something Valentine. How, how do you know that? Nice Dude, Jill looks awesome. Sorry, I'm trying to find a good spot for my microphone still. I mean, this new setup has got me a little off. Okay. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Yo, Carlos, what's up? Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. Not if Nemesis has something to say about it. My men cannot do this alone. I love how, like, I love how the Raccoon City Police Department and Stars people are like fucking 10,000 times better than trained operatives to take down biological weapons and stuff. Yeah, Carlos. Back off. Okay. So. Oh, our inventory is so small. Ammo crafting, blah, blah. Yeah. This is just like from Resident Evil 2. Okay. Uh, real quick, let's turn the uh, audio back up just a little bit. That should be better. Yeah, that's a little better. So let's go collect our gear. Yeah, I already figured that out. Dang. 
What is this? Tabloid front page. Cannibal murders complete digest. In the grave of the morning of September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report. I saw the man described as disheveled like a vagrant was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body, and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? I like that man steak. We here at News Comment have been gnawing, have a gnawing feeling that so-called cannibal disease patient Spencer's. Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August. Might not be settling for just cafeteria food, our reporters. The infiltrated Spencer Memorial asked tough questions and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach roll. Turn the page for the scoop. Well, I can't. Alright. So, is Nemesis in this demo? Oh, here's some herbs. Here's some herbs. Gunpowder. So. Yeah, yeah. Inventory. I, I, I know I got it. You already explained that to me. That's how we dodge. Is there a knife right here? Why did we shoot that? Because that's a collectible. Uh, I don't even know about herbs. If you played Resident Evil 2, you have heard about herbs before too. We got nothing. Oh, do we not have our knife equipped? Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Yo. Now we can... If I can actually get the thing to do what I want. There we go. Let's re-equip our handgun. So this is our first... Oh yeah, you can't save in this. Just oh, I use classic Resident Evil tactics, didn't work in my favor. Might as well. Shotgun or anything? Oh, this is. At least they give us plenty of handgun bullets. I thought I dodged. Stay down. We gotta use herb. 
No, we're still fine. Let's just run by these guys then. Okay. Yeah, the quick step. So we can just avoid most of these people, huh? I thought we might be able to shoot that off. Can we get like a shotgun or something? Yeah. I'm so nervous right now, though. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Oh, that's nice. Gotta put this out. Oh. Thought that was surely it. I'm gonna have to find the tool. Where would we find that tool at? Oh, probably down that way. I would imagine. <laughs> Get exploded, dude. Go this way. Just seems promising. Seems like we'll die. Let's go ahead and combine that. So now we got two. You know, for whenever Nemesis decides to come eat our face off. It's really dark right here. I want, I want another gun. Ooh, here's a safe. The new hair tonic in the from umbrella is just flying off shelves. The stuff they make always works wonders. No, it's no surprise I'm counting on this and ordered a huge shipment. Mine seems sprang off literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That said, string of violent incidents of the on the news have me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in a good safe to hold all the cash. The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code, even my wife. It's the secret between me and my beautiful Aqua Cure Queen. She'd never give me up for a thief. Who? Alright, so let's go ahead and make some more gunpowder. I mean, some more bullets. So. The code's gotta be in here somewhere. Let's just go ahead. Is he dead? I assume he's dead. Oh. So what's the code for the thing then? Are you coming this way?
There we go. Got a herb. Oh, the code's gonna be right here. Nine one eight. Oh, this is very tense. So nine one eight. Okay, so he is dead. Here we go. Nine. Oh. Dude, you know how this works? Nine. One. Eight. Yo, why was that in your safe, dude? What does that even give us? It looks really nice. Oh, it gives us a red dot. That's pretty cool. Is that the only reason to go in there? Well, I guess we head back this way now to try and find that. There's three guys down here. Do you want some of this? I'm so nervous. There's gonna there's so many. I don't think I have enough bullets to take them all out. I quit missing shots. There we go. Oh, dude, this is nerve wracking. What's back here? Oh, it's a safe room. So, can you even die in this tutorial? Let's just store one of these. Store this. Bolt cutters. So can we use bolt cutters on this? No. So we must need those for something else. Hey, you guys, come over here. So that's what we need the bolt cutters for. But what's back? Can we go in here? Oh. Missing too many shots. Oh, really? 
Oh. There's a shoddy. That's what we need the bolt cutters for, guys. It's getting worse and worse. These past few days, got a shotgun from when it in. It hits a breaking point. Locking up in the gun rack. That should keep it safe from any would be looters while I gotta go out and try to find some more shells. Things go south. Cut the chain, bust out that sucker, and pray we make it out alive. Yes, please. Oh, uh. Sorry, hang grenade. Ah, eh, we should be fine. This must be the subway company's offices. All oh, those donuts, bro. Huh. Nothing. In the event of a power outage, sub automatically cease operation once power has been restored. Please use the control panel to confirm the station at which the train will stop. As well as which track segment will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur and operations will not resume. Okay. So we've got to go turn power back on. Yo. Where's the, let's say, where's the chain that I cut? I'm not liking this. Nemesis is gonna show up soon, I know. Are you serious? Dude, get off me. I got bit twice. Can you not die in this demo? Oh, we're so dead. I guess you can die in this demo. What was the point of coming down here? How do we drop this stuff? Yeah, there we go. Oh, we gotta drop them, don't we? Alright, so let's drop the nades. Sorry. Shotgun shells are more important. I, I'm not gonna lie, that really caught me off guard. <laughs> oh yeah, we got what we need. We need the water hose, right? So we need to head back. Let me guess. Freaking nemesis. Run.
This is so terrifying. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm stars, bro. That's it. That's the whole demo? Oh, I thought it'd be longer than that. Okay. I can get behind that. I guess I could have tried to fight Nemesis, but he was terrifying. I probably missed a lot, but you know, that's my little run. I have seen people on Twitter. I haven't watched the videos, but I've seen them posting their little results screen right here, and it's like 2 minutes and 33 seconds or something like that. I'm like, my Jesus. Wow. That was really fun, actually. Nemesis is crazy, though. I guess I could have tried to fight him for you guys, but I thought that demo was going to last longer than that. Thought it was going to make us at least turn the power on in the subway. Huh. Well, there you guys have it. Oh, well, I... Let, let you guys watch this. My God. No, no, no. They gotta get through. Huh. Send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Yeah, like me, Jill Valentine. Resident badass. Man, my aim sucked in this demo too. Let me guess. Nemesis. Who's Kendo? You better hunt. Sorry. Is that Marvin? I remember Marvin from the Resident Evil 2 demo. Let's do this. Yeah. Dude, Nemesis is like... Mr. X was probably terrifying in Resident Evil 2, but Nemesis is like... No. I don't have... See, now... I can't go get my... Money back from flipping GameStop on one of my pre-orders. It's just gonna sit there since they're closed now. I would have bought this for sure. I mean, this uh, that was fun. But like I said, this is besides the RE2 remake demo and this demo. The only experience I have with Resident Evil was Resident Evil 4, which was the bomb back in the PS2 era. And I played Resident Evil 5, which I enjoyed. It was not as much Resident Evil 4. I tried to play Resident Evil 6, but I couldn't get into it. It was a little too... I don't know. But... It'll either be at the end of Vampire Season 1 or Dark, my Darksiders 3 Season 1 finale. I plan to start Resident Evil 7. Which, like I said at the beginning, I don't really know anything about it other than it. I know it's none of the characters in this game. I don't even know if Umbrella is attached to it. But I do know it's the first attempt with their RE engine that they use, right? And it's first person, which should make it way more terrifying. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, that's my take on the Resident Evil 3 demo. If I'd have known it was going to be that short, I probably would have fought Nemesis a little bit for you guys. But I didn't know. I thought we were going to go on. Probably, I thought there was going to be at least another 15 or 20 minutes of the demo. But, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed watching this, uh, feel free to buy the game. I think it comes out next week, next Friday, maybe. Comes out April 3rd, I think. Feel free to buy the game yourself. My one... Uh, he's so creepy. Like, I wouldn't want him chasing me. As always, especially in this time that we're having now, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other by taking care of yourselves and being hygienic and following and be socially distant. Don't fight anybody over anything you need. Just... Don't panic by. Just get what you need. Social distance. Take care of yourselves. 
Take care of each other. And I'll see you around.